Breast cancer in women is estimated to be the most common cancer worldwide. However, the rate of survival has increased dramatically in recent decades. Today, we're going to take a look at an innovation enabling physicians to provide a more personalized and more precise radiation treatment for patients. Incredible progress has been made in the treatment of breast cancer over the last two decades, largely due to the evolving ability to treat breast cancers differently based on their individual characteristics. Today, I paid a visit to the Miami Cancer Institute, where they're using some of the latest technology to treat breast cancer. I sat down with Dr. Maria Amelia Rodriguez, a radiation oncologist. Dr. Rodriguez, thank you so much for your time and especially to have this conversation, which is so important. Thank you for being here, Olga. It's always a pleasure to discuss such an important issue for women. Breast cancer actually affects one in eight women in the U.S. Mm -hmm. So it is important to bring awareness, to talk about early detection, treatment options, including surgery, systemic therapies, chemotherapy or not, and radiation therapy. I want to talk about treatments. How have they evolved in, let's say, the last 20 years? Tremendously. So in terms of the first treatment for breast cancer is surgery. So we don't do surgeries that were so mutilating anymore. Thank goodness. And when women have to have a mastectomy, we have immediate reconstruction. Yes. But for most women, we don't even have to do a mastectomy. They can simply have removal of the area of tumor and have additional treatments, radiation, maybe some hormonal pill or in times chemotherapy as well. Now I wanna talk about radiation. Where are we today when it comes to radiation for breast cancer? Because let's face it, when a woman comes in and they know they're gonna get radiation, they're scared, uh, they think of the burning, what's gonna happen, what are the side effects? In the case of radiation, yes, there is a general fear of radiation um, because in the past, Again, the technology wasn't where we are now, and uh, bad things happened. I mean, women got burned. We don't see that anymore, luckily, because of the new technologies that we have. And let's talk about that new technology that's so unique here at Miami Cancer Institute. So at Miami Cancer Institute, we have literally every single piece of radiation um, available. Uh, so as physicians here, it's a pleasure to work here because we can really recommend and pinpoint the specific machine that would be the most applicable to that patient. It's tailored to that individual's needs. Absolutely. And there's a new one, it's called Radix Act. What makes that so unique and special? It's a very, um, peculiar machine. So you picture a CT scan mm -hmm. that goes around somebody's body. So that machine is like a, it's a CT scan at the same time that it has a linear accelerator that produces radiation inside it. So it delivers radiation in a helical form. So a spiral. So the patient will travel through the machine and it's delivering that radiation. And inside that machine, there are tiny little pieces that block the radiation or allow the radiation to go through. In that way, you can literally paint the radiation to mm. that specific area where you want it to go and you can literally block where you don't want it to go as the patient is going through the radiation machine. So that allows for a more targeted approach, right doctor? What it means is, for example, a woman with left-sided breast cancer, after that patient has gone through surgery and has gone to chemotherapy that sometimes can affect the heart, they are naturally very concerned when they come to me of and course. they want to know how I'm going to make sure that the radiation is not damaged their healthy heart. So by using the Red Exact, we can, again, just simply paint that radiation that it will conform to the shape of the area that we need to treat and it will block and radiation will not go to that patient's heart. That's fantastic. Who is a good candidate for this therapy? Many patients. In the case of breast cancer, um, 
patients with very early stage breast cancer that we use a technique called partial breast radiation where we don't treat the entire breast tissue. They are eligible for a therapy with Red Exact, but also the patients where we need to treat not only the area where the breast was in the case of a mastectomy, but the regional lymph glands. So those lymph glands are located in close vicinity to some important structures such as the lung, the heart, in the case of a left-sided breast cancer, they are close uh, to the esophagus and uh, the and the trachea. Um, so we can then, with the Rad Exact, literally, as I had said before, paint where the radiation goes, um, and therefore avoid the toxicity of uh, radiation therapy. Doctor, again, medicine is always evolving, uh, new equipment, new therapies. This tumor is creating this abnormality. I see you have a passion for this, and I know what patients mean to you. For a patient coming in, knowing that they're going to be going through these treatments and possibly this new unique one, uh, what words would you say to, to help motivate them through, through such a difficult process? It's the passion of the people that work here. So my patients often will tell me, either in the middle of their course of radiation or at the end of their radiation, that they feel that every person that comes in contact with them really has a vested interest in them. From the receptionist, to the medical assistant, to the nurse, to the therapist on the machine. So they really feel the difference that there is a special touch inside this institute, and it's the people. And it's all of that, along with the therapies, that can save more lives. Doctor, thank you so much for your time. And if you'd like more information, you can go to radexact.com or you can check out our website, accesshealth.tv. The views contained and expressed in this show, including any accompanying oral commentary, are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect the views or policies of Accuray Incorporated or its subsidiaries. Important safety information. Most side effects of radiotherapy, including radiotherapy delivered with Accuray systems, are mild and temporary, often involving fatigue, nausea, and skin irritation. Side effects can be severe, however, leading to pain, alterations in normal body functions, for example, urinary or salivary function, deterioration of quality of life, permanent injury, and even death. Side effects can occur during or shortly after radiation treatment or in the months and years following radiation. The nature and severity of side effects depend on many factors, including the size and location of the treated tumor, the treatment technique, for example, the radiation dose, the patient's general medical condition, to name a few. For more details about the side effects of your radiation therapy and if treatment with an Accuray product is right for you, ask your doctor.